I'm going to tell you it is absolutely not worth it to leave with a rider's belongings in your car, whether it's a purse, a wallet, a handbag, shopping items, a phone. You know what? Return it or return it to the person or the hub and hope you get a reward. That's the best case scenario. You get a good reward. But in this case, it says your Phoenix woman says Uber driver took off with stuff. I'll tell you what the stuff is just now and left her at post office, right? You know, that that's flat out theft. You might end up in jail because of some because of something like this, right? Now, Uber has been trying to contact this driver. Everyone, police is trying to be contact this driver, not answering the phone. Obviously, he's bailed. You've got to read this. It's just absolutely not worth it. For some people, it might be tempting. Oh, wow, you know, I'm going to score a $1,000, you know, Apple 12 phone here. Or, wow, there's a couple of credit cards. Forget about it. Just return. Do as you would expect others to do to you, right? You, If you'd lost something, if you dropped a wallet, You'd expect the guy behind you to pick it up and say, excuse me, sir, excuse me, madam, you dropped your wallet. Here it is. I've done that many times, right? You know, people lose money out of their um, uh, cash out of their uh, falls out of the bag or their pants. And you say, excuse me, you dropped something. Just return the damn stuff. It is not worth the story here. So a Phoenix woman says her Uber driver left her at the post office and took off with her stuff Thursday afternoon. I was mad at first. But now I'm like, if you find in your heart, it in your heart, just return my purse at least and we can be done with the entire situation, says Faye D, the passenger. D's strange story started at the Metro Center Walmart when she requested a ride on Uber. When I was putting in my address, I added a stop to my ride and then I requested the driver. Um, after helping her load bags in the trunk. So the guy knows he's loaded all the bags. He knows that those bags are in the trunk, right? D says the driver took her to the first stop, the post office, and parked. She got out, leaving her purse and groceries in the car. I told him I'd be right back, said D. He didn't answer, but again, I assumed he knew it was a stop because I put it in the app before the ride started. Of course, the, the driver knew that was a stop. I mean, he had all of her belongings in the car. He actually helped load them. But then what happens, right? Uh, D said when she came back to the parking lot, the driver was gone with her groceries in the trunk and purse in the back seat. So this driver deliberately took off. Now, in many cases, you could be a driver and you don't know what's on the back, tree, back seat. You don't know what fell down on the floor. You had no intention of driving away. And you'll never be faulted for that if and only if you clean up your car and you find, oh, wow, there's a cell phone on the floor or there's a purse. So what I do, what you should do after every second trip is just do a quick walkthrough. If you drop someone off at the airport, many a times there's been a laptop left in the car, the phone left in the car. It says, guys, don't catch your flight without the laptop. They are so happy. They usually reward you big time with a tip, right? So you can do a quick 30 second walkthrough and make sure that they get their belongings. If for some reason you oversaw something, right? And a phone slipped under the seat and then, you know, you leave and the hub maybe reaches out and says, hey, by the way, uh, is it possible that uh, you found a Samsung under your phone or the, or the, or the passenger? And you said, well, hang on one second, let me check. I've, I've been in that situation as well. So go through everything. Oh, wow, your phone, Fell, t- fell here in between the seats. No worries. How can I get it back to you? You will get a handsome tip. And I think it builds up a lot of credibility and says a lot about who you are, right? But here in this case, I'm sorry, dude. You did the wrong thing. The wrong thing. She said a cell phone, medicine, and keys to her apartment were in the purse. Just really feeling overwhelmed and scared to have my personal information um, out there. When she could not get in touch with the driver, D called a new ride, filed a police report, and asked Uber what to do. She's been in touch with a representative from the company. Uh, She just told me the driver was not cooperating with them and that they would be reimbursing me for the items that I lost during the ride. So the the driver is not cooperating with Uber. Well, guess what Uber is going to do? I'll guarantee you. I know how the story ends. The guy's deactivated. 
right? They have to fit, you know, the money. The police report has been filed. The purse is gone. The groceries are gone. You know, and she can prove all of this. Very, very stupid move on behalf of the driver. Uber told Arizona's family it's working to make things right, but no one has been able to reach the driver. D says he's been AWOL since Thursday. Um, is it that he forgot that he popped his trunk open for me to put my groceries in there? Or, did he, or didn't he hear me when I said, I'll be right back? I think my items would have been returned by now to the hub or the police department if it was a mistake. Uber said it blocked the man from using the app as a driver while it investigates. So the, the person's off the platform. And I mean, I don't know, I don't know what excuses this guy is going to have when they eventually catch up with him. My guess is, I mean, there's a police report being filed. I, I think he's going to get criminal charges for theft. That's just what I think. It's not worth it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not worth it over a purse, over a credit card, over a phone, over groceries. Get the stuff back to the police station, right? Uh, I remember last year, on I came out of a movie pre-pandemic, and there was a phone uh, fallen out onto the street. I grabbed the phone, went to the closest police station. I get a call three or four hours later. Uh, somebody actually picked up the phone because they, we, we notified them it was here, right? Give the stuff back, just as you expect people to bring your belongings, your wallet, your purse back, right? I would reward someone handsomely because I don't want to go through the trouble of getting my driver's license again, my credit cards, uh, there's cash in there. They surely deserve a reward, right? So huge shout out to my um, sponsor, Cover, K-O-V-E-R, Gig Protection Plan, um, if you were wrongfully terminated. I, I don't think that this driver was wrongfully terminated. I don't think this driver is going to be reinstated. But many a times you get wrongfully terminated over a false report. You need a gig protection plan like Cover, K-O-V-E-R. Get one month free underneath this video um, with them. Um, then if you get into an injury, if you get into an accident, make sure you have a good legal lawyer on your side. There's no one better then LegalRideShare.com. Um, they're up in Chicago. They deal with injuries, property damages, and wage losses. They will file the insurance claim and go after your money. So you need that, right? So um, also, please, huge request here. I have a survey link underneath this video about Uber customer service, which I think is very poor. You might think otherwise takes three to five minutes. You don't have to enter your name. Um, I want to get about a hundred surveys in so that I get an accurate reading of what drivers think about Uber's customer service or other companies' customer service. And then I want to publish those results uh, through press releases and put relentless pressure on Uber and other companies to up their game in the area of customer service for drivers as well as safety for drivers and riders. Have a great day. Your thoughts, please.